Hey, I'm Ryan Carter, president of AZ Real Estate. I'm here with Larissa Busso. Uh, Larissa, thanks for hanging out. Absolutely, my pleasure. Yeah, I'm excited to talk to you this morning uh, and learn a little more about you, talk about real estate, um, talk about your background, your life, and I pull out some stories from you, you know, sort of sure. all the things. Yeah, I'd love that. Awesome. Um, wow, I'd love to just sort of first uh, off the top, Tell me a little bit about your story or kind of, you know, what got you to real estate? Well, um, I kind of took a roundabout journey to real estate. I started in corporate America. I did about, I don't know, 15 plus years um, working in human resources, leading recruitment teams. Um, and I kind of just got to a point with my family, with three children kind of growing up and needing more time with me and decided it was time to make a bit of a change and I wanted a little more control over my life. and. Um, my family life and how yeah. I could balance it better and real estate really felt like that was going to be a good fit for me um, mainly because I felt like I could really help people find the perfect home and I used to help people find the perfect job so it was kind yeah. of just I don't know to me it seemed like a good segue. It's such an incredible industry I'm always so grateful for real estate you know as you said the ability to really be in control of your business of your life work-life integration, and then the flip side of it, what we're able to do for clients. And it really makes an impact. You know, this idea of matching someone's with their perfect career and kind of guiding someone to find their perfect space or their home to impact their life. It's, like, it's great through gratifying. line. Yeah, it's very gratifying. I mean, it, it makes me happy when other people are happy. And I know yeah. that sounds cliche, but honest to God, like when I can put a smile on someone's face, hand them that key at the end of the transaction, no matter how much of a roller coaster it was, it's just super exciting to know that they're so happy. I think home ownership is one of the most amazing things you can do in America. And yeah. um, it's, you know, to have it be attainable and yeah. to be able to help with that. Yeah, and, and you, as a real estate agent, as the professional expert that you are, you really have an impact in, 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 in guiding someone to accomplish that. It's not easy. The negotiation, <laughs> finding the property, the financing guidance, all of it, it really takes, you know, people need an expert agent on their side to guide them through a really one of the most significant things you can do from an investment standpoint and the impact it has on their life. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, I always try to work for my clients so that they feel like it it seems pretty seamless on the outside and yeah. it's a lot of work on the on the back side, on the yeah. inside, but you want them to feel comfortable. You want them to be able to navigate all of the potential pitfalls that can come through the transaction and um, I feel like that's why I'm there. I'm there to help them feel calm and collected and that's confident right. about the decisions they're making and they're still in control. Totally. You know, at the end of the day. Totally. That's a really great way to to show up for clients. It, as I was listening to you say that, I, I kind of have this visual of like, you know, you pull back the curtain and where you're back there kind of managing all the things and then you close the curtain and the clients out front are like, here's your home, it's beautiful and let me guide you through the contract. But, you know, we laugh about it, but it's true. I think that's why the idea that people need a real expert and a professional to manage all that stuff uh, is key. Yeah, yeah, it is for sure. So how long have you been in real estate? It's been about, well, since 2017 I've been licensed. Okay, six, six yeah. years? Yeah. Nice. And what, how long have you been with 8Z? I've been with 8Z. I just celebrated my one year anniversary a couple months ago. Congratulations. Thank you. So great to have you as part of the 8Z family. Seriously, uh, it's been awesome to watch you kind of come into our organization and make an impact on your team, make an impact on your business. And we're kind of a family around here. It's and it's true. really cool to have you part of that. What were the circumstances that you came to know 8Z? Well, you know, it's funny. I wasn't looking to change brokerages. Um, I had done that a few times early in my career and went from boutique to larger to smaller. And um, it just so happened I was working with some clients that were very interested in a home that had already gone off the market. Um, they really wanted me to write a backup offer. And I said, absolutely, let me get in touch with the agent. Let me, you know, find out what's what and see what we can do. And it just so turned out that it was Julie Maxwell, who is at the time one of our managing brokers here at 8Z. Yeah. And, um, 
I ended up writing the backup offer and just through that process, I probably badgered her on a every other day basis about follow up as far as any changes and you know, how's our, how's our backup offer looking? And, um, Advocating for your clients, trying totally, to get in there. Totally, and I would you know proceed to give um, updates on the other end to my clients. And um, truth be told, through that process, Julie and I got to know each other and she just kind of started talking to me a little bit about AZ, just very casually. And um, I was like, oh yeah, it seems like a great company, you know, that's great, thank you so much. And um, she's like, well, we should go chat more and we should go, you know, do lunch. And I was like, okay, but you know, I'm not really looking to make a move, but I'd be happy to do lunch. And right. um, so we did, we went and had lunch and um, kudos to Julie. I mean, she really just kind of laid it out for me with regard to some of the comparisons that she was able to make mm -hmm. and some of the, um, I don't know, propositions as far as the me coming over to 8Z and what that could look like. And yeah. actually told me I was probably selling myself short by staying where I was and just honest to God truth. And I said, I don't know. It just, it was very difficult to make the decision. My husband and I had, you know, talked about it, not wanting to make any more changes. Yeah. And, um, I'm like, well, you know, let me think about it and we talk it through and I came back to her and we talked a few more times and at the end of the day, obviously I made the decision to come here yeah. and I couldn't be happier. My husband is 100% supportive, not that he wouldn't have been, but you know, it's a relationship and you want to yeah. have, you know, everybody be on the same page and have that support behind you and um, I'm, my only regret now is that I didn't find you guys sooner. Mm. Too bad Julie and I didn't run into each other sooner because I'm just happy to be here and I have no plans of ever going anywhere else. This is, this is my home from now on. Well, good. Good saying you're stuck with us <laughs> and I'm you're excited to be stuck with you. <laughs> no, I mean, big smile on my face, you know, hearing you say that. Um, thank you. It's so great to have you. You know, you're a year into 8Z. It's, it, it seems as if it's certainly made a positive impact on your business, on, on your life. Um, you know, what has it meant to be at AZ sort of a year in and kind of the opportunity to have some reflection? Um, how has AZ made an impact on your business? Well, being that I wasn't just fresh off of, you know, newly licensed yeah. um, individual, I feel like I've learned so much in this last year and I credit that to just the AZ family. Um, the AZ conference that we had earlier this year, our managing broker at our Parker Castle Rock office, um, the whole team there. I just feel like everyone is so supportive of each other. Like we have a group text, you send out a text, someone needs help with the showing, someone needs, can you do this closing? I have to run out of town. And I just feel like everyone has each other's backs and it really does sound, you know, sound like it, but feel like it and we live it. And, yeah. And it just, it feels true and it feels right. And I feel like I've learned so much in the last year, more than I've learned previously. Well my said. business has done better because of it. So well, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> yeah, there is that. Uh, you, you, you've, you've risen up and, and built an incredible real estate business. Your clients are really lucky to have you on their side. Um, real estate can be a little wild. There's some ups and downs. There's certainly, and that's, that's the beauty of it. It's a really dynamic industry. No client is the same. No transaction is the same. You know, I have some skeleton stories in my closet for sure. When I would uh, do, when I was producing real estate, I'm sure you have one or two or, what, you know, what's a, what's an interesting story uh, in your real estate career? Well, one that comes to mind recently in the last, you know, year or so, um, it was closing day and we were doing our final walkthrough with my buyers and we were, um, we just arrived at the home and um, typically this is like celebratory day, as you well know, yeah. and you kind of just are just checking off all the boxes, making sure everything looks good from inspection, everything's in the same condition before you go to the closing table. And we walked into the house and it was a little surprising because there was still a whole lot of stuff in the home. I was like, okay, no big deal. It's in a couple hours, they'll have time. Um, and then, you know, we heard some background noise and I was like, what's that going on? And um, we later learned that there was some renters who hadn't moved out yet, uh -huh. some subletters, and um, they were, not happy to be moving out. I don't think they wanted to move out. Let's just say there was a little bit of some loud voices happening and mm. my clients are kind of first time home buyers oh. and we're like, oh boy, what's happening? Yeah. And the seller was there and she said, oh yeah, they're just gonna be, you know, moving out. Well, things have sort of escalated, let's just say that. And, mm. um, you know, maybe people were getting fairly aggressive about moving their things out of the house and throwing them into the streets. 
Oh, wow. And um, so I finally called the seller's agent. I was like, hey, so we're just gonna stop our walkthrough. Um, I just thought maybe you'd want to check in with your seller. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to close today. It seems there's a lot of stuff in the home and there's still some tenants living in the home. Wow. So maybe you could just give me a call and let me know. A little challenge to uh, closing and, and your clients moving in. When... Yes, I was like, well, we're gonna head to the closing table and maybe you could just give me an update and um, so we know where we're at if we need to continue today or delay a day and at the end of the day she was able to go and find out what was what and we did close that day albeit wow. five hours later but there was a little bit of a challenge to get through on that one <laughs> that's an interesting one I mean yeah you know walk through right before closing uh, but another another way you step up for your clients and kept it together and they closed yeah yeah, yeah. I more just wanted to keep everyone calm in the situation I was worried that they were gonna <laughs> kind of get scared. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, so what, you know, what are some of your, how would you describe your business in terms of perhaps your expertise or some markets that you uh, focus on or types of clients that you work with? Any kind of sp uh, specifics around your business? Well, I really enjoy listings as uh, well as, you know, the buy side. Yeah. I like both sides. Um, I really enjoy helping people list particularly because um, I get to develop a, a deeper relationship with them. Yeah. Buyers sometimes, they find the house pretty quick and then, you know, it's just not as much involvement. But I think the basis for all that is that I enjoy working with people and developing relationships with them. Yeah. I found through my experience that I tend to gravitate towards people who are kind of in a transition in their life. Yeah. So I really enjoy helping people who are going through change. And the change could be they're relocating here from someplace else, or um, they're downsizing because their children have left the home, or they're upsizing because they're yeah. expecting, or unfortunately they're divorcing and now I need to help navigate them to their next place wherever that's going to be. So I feel like I can really be an asset when someone's kind of dealing with that stress and that change. Yeah. Um, helping to keep them calm through that, helping to f figure out solutions for them along the way. Yeah. Um, those to me are the gratifying, um, satisfying clients because I feel like I can do so much more for them than just sell their house or help them buy that next house. So I think that's why I kind of really enjoy working with those types of clients. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, let's face it, buying or selling a home, it's a high emotional process yes. regardless. Even in the most smoothest situations, it's its a big chapter of someone's life. And then to your point, adding on to that, perhaps additional stressors of relocating into a new market for a job, expanding your family, having to get your mind around downsizing, exploring a new neighborhood. its I could see, I know you, I know you're a solutions oriented <laughs> professional. And then, so I can totally see how you'd be such a value added impact for clients in that situation. I just like helping people see kind of the other side, um, looking yeah. through the, you know, the lens of, we're gonna get to the other side of this, we're gonna navigate the challenges, you know, I'm here to help you do that. And if you can keep them happy and calm and, and just navigate through all of the, Craziness, Stuff. you know, just all the things. Yeah. <laughs> all the things. All the things, all the things. You never know what they're gonna be. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, any, real estate is a dynamic market. Mm -hmm. we, we sort of established that and, yes. and, and, and noted that. Um, transition, we're, we spoke about transition. Perhaps some would, some would classify our market as a transitioning market, mm -hmm. uh, dynamic market. Any thoughts on our current market? Um, yeah, um, I think it's very different from last year, for example. Yeah. I think every year is different from the previous year. Just when you think we're in a bit of a role of where we're going to be at, is it a buyer's market, is it a seller's market? Yeah. I think there's another caveat that goes into it. Right now it happens to be interest rates. Obviously that's top of mind for buyers. Um, it's impacting sellers. Buyers aren't ready to pull the trigger as much. They're being a little bit more choosy. Sellers are having to be a bit more, you know, conducive to making some changes on their end as well. Yeah. So I just think helping, again, your clients navigate that changing landscape. Yeah. Um, but then you'll run into these pockets depending on the price point where then there's still a bidding war and people are willing to go in and not make any concessions. So 
Yeah. It's very eclectic in a way. Yeah. Bipolar. <laughs> yeah. I, I, think, me. I love that word eclectic. It is a, it is eclectic because there's local markets, there's micro markets, there's macro influences. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. And I think just we, we really need to remember real estate is a market and markets by definition are dynamic. You know, you, you spoke about last, this year isn't like last year. Oftentimes, no year is like the previous year because a market by definition is always evolving and always being dynamic. Yeah. Um, again, why uh, I think it's super important to have someone, uh, an expert navigating that for you. Yeah. yeah. And I really enjoy it. I think that's the, the key for me is that I'm very passionate about it. Like I'm passionate about helping people yeah. fulfill their dream. And whether that's selling and downsizing or unfortunately navigating, you know, a change in their family dynamic, you know, I want to be able to be there for them. Mm -hmm. And if it means I can help them with their real estate transaction in the process of it, then everybody wins. Right. You know, and everybody can move into the next phase of their life, whatever that may be, wherever that may be. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you bring, you know, you bring a system to the table. You bring real things, real data, a real process. You, know, you spoke of uh, clarity, control, and confidence. You, know, you bring that to the table for clients. That's really important to for uh, an agent that people work with to have in addition to the passion. You, know, you have to have that expertise, you have to have that process, and a real passion to help people accomplish what they want to accomplish. Yeah, it's always definitely my goal to kind of put people in the driver's seat and understand yeah. like how to drive the car. The, for example, if I'm at a listing appointment and giving, taking them through the process of what I'm going to do for them. How are we going to market your home? When are we going to do photos? When is the signage going to be there? What is the marketing going to even look like? Yeah. And, and when will you be in touch with me? And then, you know, like how long is it going to take? And what all do I have to do? You know, there's just so many pieces to it. And I like to be able to sit down and lay out all the steps and how we're gonna do it and the timeline so that they can feel really confident about what's gonna happen. Yeah. And not to say there's never gonna be a surprise, but for the most part, they know what to expect yes. and they know that I'm really a phone call away. Yes. Yeah, you provide real clarity on what that process is gonna look like. And you know, I, I know you mentioned you really love helping sellers on the listing side. Um, Particularly on the listing side, having that process and merchandising a home and, and, and guiding a seller through that process, that has real impact and swings on what the market's going to bear on their house. Absolutely, and I like making it just picture perfect. I, yeah. My background, I wanted to do marketing and design, so for me to go into a house and help them get their house ready on the inside and get it, you know, show ready, if you will, yeah. it's always fun. It's just an extra piece that I like to be able to add value for my clients. Doing that. Yeah, awesome. So, I think we should get to like the the, the good stuff, like the real stuff. Uh -oh. Talks about real estate. <laughs> I'm a brunch person. I hear you're a brunch person. I know you love to brunch. I do. Where's your favorite brunch spot right now? Oh my gosh. So, um, I I don't want to name a specific spot, but I will and, say there are quite a few places downtown uh -huh. that um, my girlfriend group has. Um, dropped by yeah. and, and sampled. You know, a lot of times when there's mimosa flights and yeah. lots of flavors, kind of choose your own type of mimosa, that tends to be um, a, good go -to. a good selling point. But also we like to have some good food. So yeah. just having a nice atmosphere outside on a patio, particularly enjoying the weather when it's not 90 degrees. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, I'm gonna add one to your list. All right. Uh, Cherry Creek, mm -hmm. uh, Bill Bouquet. Ooh, I haven't my, been there. My favorite brunch spot right now. Beautiful patio, amazing ambiance. Uh, they might they might have a good champagne list. Amazing mimosas. Sounds like it gets all the marks good for me. Good music. <laughs> Saturdays is actually a DJ brunch. Ooh, live music. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So put that on your list. I will. I will add that. Yeah, Larissa, it's been amazing to spend some time with you. Super great to learn more about your business and keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for being an 8 -er. Thanks for impacting your clients the way you are and doing it the 8Z way. Um, if you, if you are able to work with Larissa, you are in incredible hands. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. It's been my pleasure. Yeah.